Hi folks and welcome to this episode of Michael's Backyard Marina. I'm doing a little follow-up today. About a year ago, July 4th, actually on the, on the 4th of July, I bought a charbroil grill. And so it's been well over a year. I've been using, I use it a lot. I've been through several, several tanks of gas on it. My wife and I, we grill out all the time, whether it's fish, steak, pork chops, pork loin, whatever it is. We throw it on the grill, chicken, because uh, we just love grilled food, period. I love the charbroil grill because of it, it doesn't flame up. Uh, if you saw my other video where I had eight ribeyes on there, if anything's gonna flame up, it's gonna be a ribeye. No flame ups whatsoever. But today I wanna go over what it looks like about a, over a year later uh, with lots of use and how I normally clean it and put it back together. It's pretty low maintenance, pretty easy to, to maintain and keep in good shape. But uh, like I said, I use mine a lot. So let's get after it and I'll show you what I do. I apologize, it's a little windy out today. But one of the things I like to use on this grill all the time, I warm it up, heat this, the preheat it up 400, 500 degrees, whatever I want to do my searing at. But I bought one of these, as you can see, it's just a, it's actually oak, it's a hardwood. And it, when I first bought this thing, it was straight across the end. But the cool part about this design of this thing is it fits, burns in and fits the shape of the grill. But eventually, it gets full down in between the cracks. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that little piece of product there. Uh, wood paddle made, woody paddle made in USA. Great scrape. So, those are nice to have. I keep it inside, I don't let it sit out in the weather. What happens with these, this style of grill is the burners get full. And when I say it's not really the burner, it's more of the infrared action. This is basically a tray. It just sits in here. So I get my fingers underneath it. First, uh, you see how this starts to get full after a bit of time, and the way the burners are, the way the heat comes up through here, which fits directly under the these bars here, which keeps it from being able to flame up. But as you can see underneath here, it is still pretty clean. The burners look pretty clean; they're not all rusted out. I've had other grills where the burners rust out so fast because all this debris gets on top of them and starts rusting it out even faster than it should be. I'm gonna show you what I do to clean these bad boys up. I use my power washer. <laughs> Why? Because I have one. Why not? So I, play, I place them on the edge of the cement like this and then I blast them clean. All right, once the grill grates are back in, it's time to fire it up. Because guess what? I'm going to do some grilling. And I'll have some bacon wrap stuff, so you'll see that for a fact that it will not flame up. If you try putting bacon on a lot of other grills, it'll just flare up. And you can see the heat's already starting to build there and burn off that water. We'll let her come up to temp now. Now that we got the grill up to temp, let's get this party started. Look how clean and beautiful that looks now. Got some bacon wrap fillets here. We're just going to pile on right here. And you know as well as I do, 
bake and would flare up really fast. So let's close it up and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and throw on some of these uh, crab stuffed mushrooms here to go along with it. Makes a awesome meal out of this deal. These work out really good just sitting up top here. So we'll give it a little bit of time on this side, let it sear. And then we'll flip them over. Alright, it's been a couple minutes. Let's take a look. Look at what that's doing. Ooh yeah. Let's flip it over. Got a good sear going here on that side. You can see here the bacon's just cooking. It's not flaming even though it's dripping. The mushrooms up top here are looking pretty tasty. They won't be much longer now. Oh yeah. We'll let it ride there for a little bit. Looks like we're still holding about 40 degrees. Look at that. Look how that's cooking up. No flame ups, no anything. Nothing fancy going on here. And these look like they might be done. I'm going to try a couple of them and see. In fact, I'm going to take them all off. We're going to let the steaks hang out a little bit longer here. We'll come back and get them here in a minute. All right. I'm pretty sure those bad boys are done. Take a quick look inside one here. Pull that stick out, cut one in half, and see if you still got some pink in the middle. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Perfection. Time to eat. Well, folks, there you go. Bacon's perfectly cooked. As you can see there, a little bit of Leftover stuff on the grill. I shut her off and preheat next time. Scrape it off with that wooden uh, uh, grill cleaner, and we're good for next time. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. I just wanted to show you that you know, well over a year later, and I, like I said, I grill a lot. Uh, that this grill still performs top notch. I, I never have regretted the purchase from day one, the first day I used it. It's just done well for me. I've cleaned it the way I've showed you clean it here probably uh, three times. So what you saw, there was about six months worth of uh, build up there. I don't put all my seasonings on when this meat is on the grill. I put the seasonings on before I put it on the grill. That way I don't get all that stuff in the grill filling it up too soon. So it works pretty good. I love the way that this thing performs. So if you like what you see, subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, this, I guess I don't have much more stuff like this. Uh, I'm just taking a lunch break here. Cook, did this, cooking my lunch. Then I'm going to get back to my boat, boat trailer project. And then I got my boat trailer conversion to utility trailer project that I hopefully I can pl complete this weekend. That's my goal. Folks, get out there and do something fun. Enjoy life. Michael out.